Magnus, you just drew your round six game uh, against Jordan. It looked like you surprised him in the opening and maybe got a little something. Yeah, I think I did. Um, felt like it was never easy to capitalize on it. I mean, frankly, I thought it was pretty equal most of the way. Um, I think it's possible that both of us made like four positional mistakes in a row and not taking on e5 and then me allowing it. But at some point it becomes psychological as well because I thought um, at some point I thought he wasn't taking and, you know, um, I tried to sort of exploit that. But um, yeah, later on um, got this sort of position, which is um, equal. I mean, uh, he has a dangerous pass pawn, but he also has to watch out for his king side a little bit. Um, and um, right before the time control, I sort of set uh, one last problem for him with the bishop d5, but uh, I think um, he's um, yeah, I think he did well to to save it save it there. Um, I was hoping there w I had one trick at some point after I took on g2. If he goes f4, then I can go g4 and I probably win. Um, and the funny thing is in the game that I was trying to win and then at some point I realized I was almost losing. So <laughs> he had this, uh, like after he went king before, I was about to go rook a1 immediately. And then rook c7 leaves me, if not losing, then at least on the, um, the precipice of losing. So. Fortunately, I had some, well, I had oceans of time and uh, I managed to pull myself together and and uh, make a draw um, and at least stop um, the losing streak. Let's talk about the losing streak. Uh, it's the first time since 2015 that you've lost two classical games in a row, but you seem to be coping quite well. Mm, yeah, it's probably not a good sign, um, really. I mean, I... But I, I try to, um, you know, uh, not let it affect my sort of day-to-day -to -day routine too much. Just keep on going and um, I feel okay. So hopefully things will turn around. But, you know, losing is um, it's frustrating. Do you think uh, those results will influence the way you approach the, the second half of the tournament? Um, well, I mean, I did t take quite a bit of risk in both those games that I did lose, so <laughs> I'll probably have to take even more risk now. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll try every game, I'll try and play, and um, we'll see how far it takes me. Um, the tournament victory is obviously not realistic, but um, regardless of what you're doing, that's not what you should think about, so I'll take it day by day, and um, uh, we'll see how I end up. Final question, uh, how did you, I know the game was not what you wanted, but how did uh, you enjoy your time at the Ajax Stadium yesterday? Oh, the stadium is beautiful. Um, uh, to uh, take a page out of Bobby Fischer's book, I, th I thought the, the lighting was probably uh, <laughs> insufficient, but uh, that's not the reason I lost. <laughs> Magnus, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you.